Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew in Switzerland, normally looking in an empty mailbox, but the mailman made me very happy today and I'm going to show you two packages that I received recently. The first from Somo Diecast. Thank you, Ron. Somo stands for Southern Missouri. If you look quickly at the postage that you saw stamped on there, you'll realize why my mailbox is empty. It costs a lot to hook me up. I'm pretty well off the beaten path over here. Thanks, Ron, for being the third person in about two years to mail me something. We exchanged some channel stickers. So Ron is reciprocating here with a couple of toys. Let's see what kind of goodies are in box number one. Those are the first channel stickers anyone has ever sent me. Ron, you're the first one on the scoreboard. Thanks a lot for that. I'll put them on my work mat. A couple cars from Ron. Somebody must have whispered in his ear that I'm a Porsche enthusiast. Of course, he knew that already. And here's a very beautiful 356A Outlaw Hot Wheels. One of my all-time favorites, and I am going to do something special with that, absolutely guaranteed. My wife Petra just did a 914 for the Three Blind Mice painted pink, but this is the Safari version of the 914. Very cool. That could get weathered and beat up a little bit and might end up in a Gaslands type display. Run of all the channel stickers I've received, yours easily stands out the most. <laughs> Don't forget you can support my channel by liking this video and becoming a new subscriber. There's lots more stuff coming. Like this box of goodies from Pops Reclamation Station. Some Canadian love today. Pops is in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, just about an hour away from my hometown. And I wonder if something special is right in the top here, pressed down in this flat package. From my front yard, it says. It was mailed in October, and it is <laughs> maple leaf. Pops, thank you very much for that. The note says, hey, Andrew, just a few things for you to rework and pass on to the Goodwill. Keep up the good work. I often send items to the local mission store for their auctions. Pops is Lawrence. You want to go by both Somo Diecast and Pops Reclamation Station by following the links that I put in the description. And Pops does a lot of vintage toys, like this dinky Caravel SE210. Wheels are intact, and the landing gear is just kind of chipped up and needs to be refurbished a little bit. I can do that. I already have a box started with airplanes, civilian and military style, and helicopters, and hovercrafts, etc. So this will be a great addition. Now here's something very special, Pops. My Uncle Bruce flew this Supermarine Spitfire in the RAF in World War II, the Royal Air Force. And he was a model maker, and I grew up watching him make meticulous handmade models of all the fighter jets of his generation. Cool. It's a Matchbox Learjet. Also with all the landing gear intact and actually pretty nice paintwork on this one. And it's got Deutschland, Germany decals on the wings. And all aeroplanes in Germany start with the letter D for Deutschland. Here's another RAF fighter, a Phantom F4E. Pops, these are in great shape. I need a canopy glass on that, and I can do that. Here's a Cessna I have flown in. This one's a 21BG. Oh yeah, a little touch-up, a propeller needed. I'm gonna have to make an airport diorama, I think. <laughs> Here, look, Corgi made a Popeye boat. Got some wheels on the bottom of it. 
And I still have a Popeye rubber doll from when I was a kid. You believe that? That's funny. Into the Tootsie Toys, here's another fighter. It's a Navy Cutlass. This one's been treated a little more roughly, and I'm going to have to heat up those wings and straighten them out. All right, matchbox, dozers, loaders, trailers, needing repair, and a husky. So we start with a number 16A, Super Atlantic trailer. It's in two pieces. I can put that back together, no problem. I love my heavy equipment pieces. Here's a Matchbox Caterpillar Bulldozer. And it needs some treads, but it'll look like this when I'm all done with it. Don't know if my driver will be a redhead or not. Number 16 Case Tractor or Dozer. Again, also needing some treads and some fresh paint. And not only did I get a maple leaf from my home country, I got a little bit of Canadian dirt. Look at that, came out from the bottom of the tractor, which proves it was well used in the sandbox. That's cool. Here's a number 24 loader. Now, they need a little bit of repair, but these are not major fix-ups by anybody's definition. So I'm gonna get all of these back into circulation, Pops, including this one. This is made by Corgi Toys, and it's a pony trailer. And I've got lots of corgis in different size scales too, so I'm sure I can find something to hook this up to, to pull it around. Here's a Super King size by Matchbox Transporter. I have a couple vehicles in this same kind of look that I've already earmarked for a gas lance build. And According to eBay, this is to transport another fighter plane, but not one of the ones that I got here in this mail call. But I can put some serious payload on that. I've got a rocket that'll fit on there perfectly. So that's what it might end up looking like. Here's the original number one mod rod. You might have the newer version, but this is the first one. Here's the Husky. It's a little Thunderbird worked on only a couple of Huskies. This one needs some windshield repair and probably a paint job and a wheel swap perhaps. Here's a super fast Ford Cortina. I did one of these way way back in oh I think it was in the 20s or the early 30s in my customs. I really didn't know what I was doing so I'll get a shot at doing another one better. And here's a Blue Shark couple of little pieces are missing and the paint is well worn like most of the die casts that come from this era these are 50 years old and it's one of the great satisfactions to clean them right up and make them look shiny and new again and i'll do that with this rx7 it's the first mazda rx7 that i've got opening doors nice glass that's all reusable that's going to be an easy custom. And here's a number 74 Daimler bus. I think maybe now I've got three or four double-decker buses. They're all a little bit different, and I might do them all together in one video. Some Tootsie Toys here. The note says needing repair or repaint. Well, Pops, that's what we do here at Maple Leaf Customs, so no worries there. Dinky toys are as basic as they come, as you know, just a die cast body and a set of wheels. This one simply has Ford stamped on the bottom. This is a cycle trailer, and I'll have to find a cycle to go on it and something to pull it with, but that can be easily refurbished. And here's a tiny little Tootsie toy. There's no markings on this, so you tell me what you think that looks the most like. And for scale, I'll put it beside the 164RX7. Yeah, it's tiny. Now the trailer is bigger than the car. And the last one out of this whole haul is a Turnpike Transport. I went to Google Images and looked for what is uh, supposed to be pulling this. And there's the red cab. And it looks like the tiny little yellow car 
is about the right size to fit on top of that transporter. Pops, I want to thank you so much for this very awesome box of fixer-uppers. All of them are going to make their way to the Goodwill store. That's my promise to you. Thanks everybody for visiting today. Make sure you come back to see what I do with these and other toys. It's coffee time. <laughs>